Hi everyone, it's me Darlene and Rocket. We are in South Haven at Skylar's Therapy. I haven't been here for two weeks. I skipped two weeks. One week I couldn't make it and then uh, the next week, last week, Derek needed to be here for something. He, he had to be the one to bring her. So I haven't been here for a bit and I miss it because I like to sit here and record while waiting for Skylar to come out. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to spend time chatting with you guys. I've got a couple of things that I want to pass by you. And he just licked my entire hand. Uh, and uh, I had the windows open because it's so nice out. But the jets are so loud and they're constant. So I don't want to run the car for the AC. I'm just going to try to uh, just not get hot. <laughs> It's warm. Let me just see what the temp is. It's not that warm, but it's nice. 62. Nice little breeze. Love it. But it's noisy. A lot has been going on. I've been keeping myself extremely busy in many ways. And I am loving the series that I started. It was a little hard to get into the swing of it, but the quilt block of the month and the crochet block of the month, I have to do crochet block number two. I've got to start working on that now, hopefully tonight. I'm very anxious to do some crocheting, but I, I did two quilt blocks now, January and February. If you don't know what I'm talking about, uh, go look at my playlists and you'll see them. Um, for the, the quilt block and the crochet block of the month. And I've been getting really good feedback on that, that you guys are going to like it. I know one, just one per month is not much, but I am going to keep you busy with other things in between. And so far, nobody has said, you know, like, gee, I wish it was more than one per month. Uh, in fact, some say, I'm glad it's only one a month because it took me a while to do mine because, you know, some people just are not going to get things completed right away. So I'm really enjoying that. And yes, I have Christmas prints on the way. I got a box full and then I wanted more because I noticed they had more prints that they added, um, one of my fabric suppliers. So I, I ordered again and uh, I might not get them all but I should get at the end when I get everything I will have over a hundred different prints and I plan on making like scrap packs which just means I'm just gonna be cutting like on the fold and stuff and not precision cutting and my goal is to uh, make a quilt top that one will be only the quilt top and uh, with you guys and you know we can make it together but I I think what I'd like to do is maybe do two blocks per month or whenever I can um, if it's sooner than that it's a Christmas quilt but I do want it done you know because again some people it takes a long time and then if it would be done like in September or whatever if people want to make a Christmas quilt, all the episodes would be there and they would still have time to make it. So I'm just anxious now for the second box to arrive because when that happens, I'll start cutting and I'll start that quilt and I will be having packs available. And, you know, if those sell out, I'll try to get more and it's just going to be fun. I really like it. What was the other thing that I was hoping I'd do? I just got to start paper beads. I don't even want to talk about it because I just never, I never get around to it, but I want to do that. So here's something different that I'm going to have on eBay that I'm sure I've never had. Makes me so sad when I think of all the stuff I just gave away um, when I was moving that it would have been fun to you know, do that over the years. I mean, you know, I knew I wasn't going to be in that house forever. I would have liked to have sold stuff on eBay, you know, penny auctions, and just, you know, for fun to see, you know, if people would bid on things. And anyway, so a couple of weeks ago, I don't know, maybe a month ago, I bought two puzzles from the thrift store that I go to in South Haven, and I had showed them to you. But I have one of them, just the box right now, because the puzzle is made and it's on my table. And this was one of them, Foodie. It's pizza. I don't know if it's called Pizza Pizza. Um, 
there's a recipe for pizza pizza but this just says foodie it's a 300 piece puzzle and the brand is Goliath and it's ages six and up so that pretty much includes you I think and uh, I made it I made it with Joe Joe and I love to make puzzles so we made this puzzle and it was fun even though it was only 300 pieces we thought we would just breeze right through it but it's one of those puzzles where um, certain pieces will fit perfectly and I used to watch a woman make puzzles I geez I can't remember her name I liked her uh, I can't remember her name and she had explained that you know sort of like fabric uh, you know how fabric prints will repeat you know after a while it's the same thing repeating but I guess some puzzles or maybe all puzzles I don't know the cut can repeat so yes some pieces will fit perfectly um, in other spots and for this one the pizza itself had so much you know of the same things going on that you could easily put the piece in the wrong place even on the border so there was probably five times that I had to stop and study the whole puzzle so we could find the piece that was wrong in the wrong place. So I loved it. I thought it was highly entertaining because it kept me on my toes. And it's so nice to be making puzzles. It's something I used to have in my mother's room when I had my mother in Maine. She always had a, a puzzle going and so we made a lot of puzzles in my lifetime and so yeah so that's just good okay so then I thought what am I gonna do with this puzzle I don't want to make it again I'm you know I'm not interested that much because I want to make other puzzles and so I thought I'll put it on eBay starting at one penny with free shipping now I will tell you you can buy this puzzle I don't know what year it is but um, it's all over the place it says copyright 2021 I don't know <laughs> but I'm still gonna put it on eBay and it will like I said for USA it starts at one penny for everybody USA is free shipping international you can bid but you'll need to find out how much the shipping will cost you because I go through the eBay uh, the global shipping program so what happens is if somebody from another country wins I send it to a shipping center right here in the United States I'll ship it there at no cost. I mean, I won't charge the international person additional for that. But then eBay will ship it to you guys. And you just are at the mercy of whatever eBay is going to charge you. And I have no clue. But you should be able to check that out before you bid, I would think. So outside of the country, it's fine. You just be willing to uh, pay the shipping. And you also have to be concerned with whatever uh, taxes you might have because some people have additional taxes when they pick something up so just do your homework and don't be uh, you know crying after and say yeah you know it cost me forty dollars to get that to me and it's like well yep <laughs> that's why I don't do my own uh, international shipping anymore I used to but it's expensive okay so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this puzzle oh yeah so when you're done watching this video the link will be in the description of this video it will also be on my blog at darlenemichaud.com or you can go directly to eBay and search for Darlene Michaud but it's hard to search for somebody by seller they should have a search feature so you can just find the sellers you want and if you want to bid on it you can and I'm going to point out that the price from the thrift store is written on there in case somebody doesn't like the fact that the box has writing on it I believe it was a dollar 91 or 97 I paid half price I got it for under a buck and but there is that writing it was brand new the box had not been opened the bag inside had not been opened so uh, we were the first to make it and the only ones to make it it's in perfect shape the pieces really lock good you could probably pick the whole puzzle up I don't like puzzles that have pieces that you know they just they don't stay put or is there anything else I wanted to tell you about it uh, did I tell you it's Goliath I don't know that brand and there is a pizza recipe if you feel like you have to make that you can and um, this is the actual size piece I did measure the pieces it's about an inch and a half 
by an inch. So they're good sized pieces. They're not tiny little pieces. Yeah, just want to make sure you, you know, you know what it is. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do in case somebody would just want to buy this on their own and not bid on my auction or want to give it for a gift or whatever. Walmart has it. Amazon has it. eBay has it. So I'm going to link you to those um, sites, whatever, to those stores, in case you just want to go out and buy it, go ahead and buy it. And uh, so that will be in the description of this video and maybe on my blog too, darlingmichaud.com. And you can uh, see it. Oh, yeah. And the other thing is go to at least one of those because you'll see much better pictures. I didn't want to just take the pictures from uh, those um, stores because uh, I just don't I didn't want to use the pictures. Uh, everybody uses them. But you can go and just see. You'll see other pictures. I have my own pictures that I have in the auction. Oh, my God. I didn't mean to talk about this for this long. So I think that's what I'll do whenever we make a puzzle uh, and we're done, you know, if you guys like me putting it on eBay, I will do that because I don't need to start hoarding puzzles. You should see how many puzzles I got rid of. But we did make puzzles over and over again. I just don't think I would, I just don't want to spend time repeating. I just want to have new puzzles going all the time. And so, I know, I know I wanted to tell you some other stuff. I even had a list about, uh, specifically about the puzzle that I wanted to tell you, but maybe I covered it all. <laughs> I don't think there's much more you can cover about a puzzle. Um, I went to a play. I went to a play at the uh, Playhouse on the Square in Memphis. Very old playhouse, but obviously has been, you know, redone. And... Uh, uh, it was me and Joe and Derek and his girlfriend and uh, Skylar and a friend of hers. So w we had such a good time. Loved it. Loved it. So we're going to go again. This one that we saw was Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, which is like Willy Wonka and the, cho and the Chocolate Factory. And it was very funny. And Skylar and I were laughing. I laughed at some points so loud <laughs> I was embarrassed but it was fun and I just enjoyed it it's so nice to to do those kind of things and yes I have not been going out dancing as much but that's okay because I love staying home and having a puzzle night you know I, I I'm still going out going out for Valentine's uh, we're going to um, Lafayette's on Valentine's Day night, which is a Wednesday, and to see Rock the Boat. And I'm going to have some girlfriends there, and it's going to be nice, and Joe will be there, and we're just going to be hanging like we did and like we still do. So uh, it's going to be good. I um, haven't had too much else going on that I can report. I don't think I had to cut my nails because I broke three and I don't have them polished right now and I have to do that because I I, uh, I like to pick at my nail, the skin around my nails, you guys know that, and chew and I actually did that on a couple fingers so I don't want to do that. Oh look, I'm drinking, I'm drinking a carbonated beverage. There's no sweeteners in this at all. It's It says zero calories, but there's nothing. There's nothing but carbonated water and some natural flavors. And uh, that's, I I used to drink all the time, but I stopped at Derek's to pick up Skylar and I went in. I don't know why. Oh, because I was there a little early. I had to go to the post office, so I went in to let Skylar know I'm here now. Can Are you available to leave with me so we can go to the post office and then just go from there? And I stole one of Derek's sodas. I drink water, and only water other than my morning coffee. And I don't drink anything else except for once in a while a carbonated drink like that, and it's so different. But, um, yeah, it still blows my mind when I think of the stuff people drink and eat, but especially the drinking. It 
to me it feels so much like poison so much like poison when I see people drinking soda uh, all those energy drinks and uh, juice which is just so packed with sugar even if it's natural it's sugar anyway it's just bizarre to me that uh, I can live off water and my little bit of coffee with still with butter I still and I know every time I mention the butter oh yeah keto no 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 I don't do it for keto reasons I do it for carnivore reasons that I like to eat a lot of animal fat and I used to just eat the butter just butter from the fridge like throughout the day um, to try to get my stick and a half to two sticks of butter per day but it just gets to the point where it's like oh um, so I put a half of a stick of butter if you're not in the US then you guys get it like by the brick half of a stick what is it? a quarter of a pound so it's uh, an eighth of a pound right each stick is a quarter of a pound right because four sticks is a pound and half a stick would be an eighth um, so uh, yeah I put that in my coffee in the morning and then sometimes if I I want more butter and I'm not just willing to eat it I will um, make just a hot water uh, with butter and drink it like that is there anything else I want to fill you in on I know you guys want to be filled in on something uh, and we're just going to um, not do that right now uh, a lot of people uh, because I had a video and I showed you uh, Rocket was taking a nap and there was somebody on the bed with Rocket <laughs> and of course I did that on purpose to, to get you guys curious uh, I'm not an idiot I wouldn't just do that and then uh, think that oh um, I hope nobody comments I, I did it so so I'd get comments and but I didn't let the the nasty mean ones through the people who were like uh, you know, just being mean, okay? I'll link that video down below if you don't know what I'm talking about and let you watch it. So yeah, lot, it was a very interesting thing um, to see what people would say. There are so many assumptions and then so many people feel entitled to know everything. I will say that I took a break from talking about my personal life with Joe and uh, a, a long one, a couple months, and it uh, it felt so good so good to not be all uh, you know not that everybody knows everything but uh, oops hang on I know it's scam I've been getting scam calls left and right no nope, not a scam that was you know who and I really don't remember now where I left off um, I think I was just saying, I don't remember, and I'm not home, so I can't edit to see what I said. But it was very interesting to me to see um, the kind of comments um, that I got. I can't feed into people who feel like they're mad that I'm not telling them everything or telling you guys everything. It was nice to not talk about personal stuff for a little bit. <laughs> and that whole time, you know, I had Rocket. And I let all Rocket comments go through that said, Hi, Rocket, or we love Rocket, or love to see Rocket. But not the ones that were commenting as to why I had Rocket. And, you know, because it was nobody's business. It really isn't. And I know that you think, well, you have to expect that if you're going to be, you know, on YouTube. I do expect it, but I don't have to feed into it. I don't have to um, play by anybody's rules other than my own. You know, it does not make people entitled. And if you're a YouTuber, you know, and you're new at it or whatever, please, <laughs> I've been doing this nine years. Nine years. Nine years. Um, you do not have to give every part of yourself. Now I know people expect it with me because I am very open and honest in many many ways. My um, 
my weight, my losing weight, my carnivore, my move, my relationship with my mother, my drinking, you know, all that stuff. But that doesn't mean that I have to talk about every single thing all the time. So I hope that the majority of you understand. And uh, the reason I'm talking about it now is because Joe's a big part of my life and um, has been, except for a tiny little part where I thought, Maybe this isn't going to work. And um, I quickly knew that that kind of thinking wasn't going to work. That was what wasn't going to work. And, um, and so I want to talk about him, like what we do together. And we still have plans for things that we want to do on video together and all that. And um, so I just wanted to ease ease it in, and I thought I'd be uh, playful and just have that image of Rocket on the bed with him and let you guys wonder what was going on. <laughs> that was fun. That was fun. Rocket's with his daddy. Don't worry. Uh, he didn't desert his dog. <laughs> I can't believe anybody would think that that he would he would just disown his dog and leave him with me. <laughs> But he knows I do love this dog. And he's so sleepy. He loves that there's a pizza box on the seat. He says, I have something I can I can sleep next to. Hi, puppy. I have to take him out. I have to go to the bathroom, too. I never think about going in. I hope I'm... Oh, I didn't think I was recording. Um, yeah, I can, I can go in there and go to the bathroom. I think I'll do that. And then I think I'll walk him around let him roll around in the anise leaves <laughs> and and then I don't know I'm anxious to go home get this uploaded what else do I need to do uh, maybe cut some more fabric for my sale on Monday get ready for that I think I just want to kind of crash you know what I'm watching I loved Project Runway loved it and I started watching um, the old series and they're like 20 years ago now I think not quite not quite but you know they they were a while ago and I only watch TV if uh, you know during the day when I'm eating my lunch whenever I eat I'll you know just watch like 15 minutes at a time while I'm eating tons of beef <laughs> and then I you know I shut it off and then I watch it the next day a little bit so it's fun because it could last me forever. I'm on season three and I remember the people but it's been so long ago that I you know it's just fun to rewatch, and I'm enjoying that very much. Still go to AA meetings with Joe enjoying that too. We went last night and I find that it's very interesting and helpful to me not for the alcohol part because you guys know I've been sober for a long time almost 24 years in April and I do not need to go to those meetings for that. There's still things about the meetings that I don't agree with that, you know, make me like, you know. But it helps with dealing with why I ever drank in the first place. And by going to AA meetings, I get to hear people with the same stories that I have. And it's funny that it never dawned on me that I didn't have that support. When I stopped drinking, I wasn't even going out. I wasn't, you know, doing anything. So what? I had my family that knew I wasn't drinking anymore. Um, I didn't really have any help with, you know, I couldn't talk to any of them about, well, I did. I did talk about my past all the time, but it always was like, oh, well, you were just this. And, you, you know, nobody, like, really cared. Nobody cared what happened to me as a kid. You know, my siblings were all much older. And uh, they didn't even see, like, the stuff that was going on. And they didn't care to really talk to me about it. So I, I had no people in my life who were sober drunks. One brother was sober, so we did share some stuff. But now when I go to AA, there's like all kinds of people. I, I listen to those people's stories and I'm like, wow, you know, there are people who know what I've been through because they're, they're telling my story. Or some of them have even, you know, 
I hate to say, well, worse stories. A story is a story. Whatever your life was, it, it doesn't matter what happened. It matters how you took it, you know, how it made you feel. And I just feel like I found my people, but uh, I'm not like so into it that I'm going to go to AA. I have to go to AA now. No, it's not like that. I wouldn't care if I ever went to another one. I mean, I, I'm okay with not going, but Joe likes to go, and I like to go too because he's been going all these years, 27 years. And so, um, yeah, so I still do that. And so I have a lot of different things now that it's not just dancing, um, you know, going out to do things besides going to the bar and or just staying home and enjoying that. It feels really good to uh, be able to kick back and rest and, you know, get back to things like quilt blocks and crochet and you know I had a whole year it was a year this year February 2024 February 2023 is when I started going out uh, to the clubs and dancing and did that for a solid year and I am still going to do it because I don't want people to be mad and say now you don't get to do what you want yes I'm doing what I want it's the whole reason I wanted to meet someone and so I could do things, uh, normal things, things that feel good, going to the store together. I love stuff like that, taking rides, uh, just talking, talking about future plans and walking rocket, you know, that's a bonus. I got a bonus dog in this deal. And, you know, I just wanted to, you know, just, I just wanted some privacy there for a little while. And again, I, you know, I was like, man, we got to start, you know, talking about this again on, on camera because, you know, we have plans and we want to do some things. It's not that we did things too fast, it, you know, it, 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 things are either going to work or not. I'm 63. I got to work fast. I got to find things out and it's, it's good, you know? So, uh, just wanted to let you guys know that I didn't even really want to let you know that much, but. You know, that's why you hear me talking about Joe again. Because I took a break from that. And now I'm lifting the break. So that I can be more free to let you guys know what I did. Like go to a play, you know. And um, it's why I'm not on the dating sites. I never went back to a dating site. I never even looked. And, you know, it's like... Some people ask me, are you still on the dating sites? Why aren't you on the dating sites? That kind of thing. And um, it's because I didn't, I didn't, I didn't need to. <laughs> All right, you guys, I guess I'm going to stop with that. I'm going to run in to the bathroom and then I am going to walk Rocket. He's very sleepy right now. He's such a good boy. I love him so much. Hi, puppy. <laughs> And I'm anxious to get home and edit this. And I always, I'm still worried that I'm not recording because when I shut the phone, like um, when I shut the phone, when I shut the camera off, like when my phone rings, I'm always afraid I forgot to turn it back on. Oh my God. Okay, I'm gonna regret this whole video. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Hey, go check out the auction for this puzzle. It will be uh, for seven days and today is February 6th. 2024 so if you're looking in the future this is long gone uh thanks so much for watching i'll be back with more soon bye